Hello friends, thank you so much for taking the time to join me today. Um, this video is all about a big sale that's coming up through Sephora. Uh, I guess it comes around this time every year. I know I have missed it on occasion, but it's the VIB sale slash VIB Rouge. For VIB Rouge, it's November 4th through the 7th. Receive 20% off all in-store and online purchases with the code 20 Rouge. And then for the regular VIB people, it's uh, 11th through the 14th. Receive 20% percent off also all in-store and online purchases the code there is 20 VIB and I've got a cat trying to get in my door in this video I thought it would be fun to give you a few recommendations just like kind of some top picks things that I have talked about recently so I'm not gonna like dig in and talk on them forever but I will link below to videos where I have explained them more in depth if you want a closer look at the products and then sort of go over my wish list so some things that I just am really um, interested in may potentially purchase from this sale I've got kind of a ranking actually of the things that I'm most interested in to the things that are kind of like eh, I don't know I could possibly be convinced about them so this would be a great video to discuss in the comments section if you'd like to encourage me towards something or away from something or just help one another out. Uh, but I watched a video by I Love Faces and I loved uh, just getting to see her wish list and I thought it was really fun to sort of get in someone's head and see what are you shopping for. So I'm going to start off with just some recommendations of things that I think are solid recommendations, things that I have tried, things that I think are really can't miss items. One of them, and I again will link to every video I've done with more info but it's the Kat Von D Metal Matte Eyeshadow Palette. This is a big palette with a lot of variety. I think it's neutrals. It's also wearable color. It's a really awesome mix of your mattes on the bottom, your shimmers or metallic shades on the top, and I think it's really a gentle push out of one's comfort zone if you're always all about the neutrals. I've said this a couple times before, but I can look at half the palette and think those are my safe colors that I would reach for a lot. And then I look over here and think, hmm, I could see myself working in those shades as well because they're not out of control bright for what they are. I mean, they're still colorful, but there's a depth to them and I think it makes them approachable and wearable. And the quality of Kat Von D shadows is just simply tremendous. They blend well, yet they're intensely pigmented. Another thing I want to mention are a couple of lip kits that I think are a fabulous deal and a really great giftable option as well. In fact, I see my Myself going back and purchasing maybe one or two more of these to give as gifts to people and they are the bite lip sets one of them is the amuse bouche uh, lipstick set so you're getting four mini lipsticks in that amuse bouche formula and the thing that I think sets each of these kits apart and sorry they're so shiny this set is lipstick. This set is the matte cream lip crayons and you'll notice every shade in here is much more vibrant. You've got a couple of tones of red, a bright like kind of orchid color, a really really dark shade. So if you're a bold lip lover, if you like a matte formula, this is fantastic. And then over here, creamy, more neutral. You are getting a really deep rich shade here, but I feel like the bulk of this kit is all rooted in a little bit softer color. For example, I'm wearing two shades from this kit Today, I mixed together pepper and fig. So like these two shades right over here, but gosh, do these lipsticks feel amazing on the lips. They're $25 sets, and to save a little extra money on top of that, I think is just a fantastic deal for the quality that you get. And I'm definitely linking below to both the videos where I did like a full try on of those sets. Another thing that I just most recently talked about, this Peter Thomas Roth mask set, 25 bucks, available on Sephora's website. And a mask sampler. Uh, it's so good. I love, already knew I love the cucumber and the rose stem cell masks. Interesting points about this uh, set is that the formulas are all different. You may have different instructions for each one. For example, this pumpkin mask, you know, that's going to be kind of a scrubby thing that you kind of scrub on, leave on for a little bit, and rinse off. Each mask has a little different purpose. It would be a great thing to split up among friends, keep them all for yourself as a sampler. It's multiple mask uses in each one of these little tubes. Great for travel as well. 
well. Can't say enough good things about that kit. And then one new thing that I'm going to throw out there because I have used this for now, one, two, I've been using this for like three days so far. So it has not been like a long-term experimented with heavily product, but I got this Besame uh, Brightening Setting Powder Trio. I think this was $25 as well. And you get uh, three powders. They're loose powders um, in vanilla rose, vanilla, and violet. Now they're just light tints. So the one in the middle, the one in that packaging is like a, a very soft yellow and then this one is a soft pink and a soft lilac. And this is the size we're talking about with each one. The tint is very very subtle. I find the violet one and the rose one to be extremely brightening. They have been great little under eye setting powders for me over the last couple days and I feel like I don't really see the powder there but it has a really good brightening effect. Very subtle sense on these like you've really got to get your nose up to it to pick up on what's there but today I'm wearing the brightening vanilla powder which has a little bit of a yellowish tone and I actually baked with that like I laid it on thick that's the first time I've tried that with any of these on my under eye and I think it looks really good but they all label themselves as translucent powders each one just takes on a slightly different tone like I said a couple that I've enjoyed just to wear lightly for a little dusting, set whatever concealer's there, and then I tried this one for baking and it was really good. But I'm just throwing out there in this video that I am really loving these so far, and I do plan to do a video talking a little bit more about these and some other things from that line soon. So there are some things right there that I think are really good buys that would be great to, you know, save a little extra on during this sale. And of course, I've done a lot of reviews lately, so you know if, you know, there's been something you've seen me talk about that really resonated with you and you've held off on buying it, this sale would probably be a good time to jump in. But now let's jump into the things that I am kind of craving. And I've seen on the site, I kind of scouted the website, and I found some things that really interest me. And I'm going to go in the order of most likely to purchase to least likely to purchase. But everything's still something I'm very interested in. You feel me? You got this? Okay. Um, it's the Clinique Very Honey Holiday Eye Palette. I saw this and I instantly thought, oh, uh, this looks gorgeous. It's deep, it's plummy, it's rich, and I really like the quality of Clinique shadow. Those are like this sleeper item in the makeup world that is, some people talk about, but not enough people are talking about. And they're usually really soft, really pigmented. I've loved their little um, eye palettes that are like rectangular. Um, that is officially the worst description I've ever given of a product. <laughs> rectangular. These palettes, okay, this is what I'm talking about. I've gotten a couple of them in the last several years. I got the Black Honey Affair palette, which I loved this one. Great quality there. And then I think it was last year that I got the Pink Honey set. Okay, looks like that. If the quality of this Very Honey Holiday Eye Palette is anything like those, I think I'm going to really go for it. So I'm excited about that. Next thing that is on my wish list that I'm pretty sure I'm going to go for is a pretty pricey item. This is an $80 palette from Hourglass, and it's the Ambient Lighting Edit Serene light palette. It's the one that looks on the outside like it's got a marbled finish and then it's got five different products on the inside and uh, they're all things that would be new to me. Um, I do have one ambient lighting blush in my collection. It's the one in diffused heat. I am wearing that as my blush today and I really like it so I kind of welcome trying two new blushes and then there's a strobe lighting powder in there. There's an ambient lighting bronzer which I'm really interested in and then just an ambient lighting powder in surreal light and that's the one that's in the biggest rectangular portion of that palette. Here's my thought on this. I haven't always been the biggest backer of the ambient lighting powders in general, just the regular ones that are called ambient lighting powders. Uh, the one like that came in a little trio a while back. I've used it, I've used it. I'm failing to find really great purposes for those things. And so I feel like, well, you're just getting one of those kinds of powders in here, which maybe, you know, that one will work out for me. And then I've got four other more colored powders that I'm very intrigued about with the blushes, the highlight, the bronzer. I mean, it's a lot in one 
Ooh, tell me what you think if you've already tried this. I know that's been out on the market for a little while now. Next thing that I'm fairly certain I'm gonna go for is the Sephora Collection Face Mask Set. It's a sheet mask set. And while I love my Peter Thomas Roth, you know, these rinse off masks, I love a good sheet mask too. And I have used the rose mask from this line, so I would be getting, uh, let's see, five other masks that I've never used. You're getting Orchid, Lotus, Algae, Rose, Pomegranate, and Avocado. And they each have, you know, a little bit different thing that they claim to do, but, you know, $25, maybe get a couple of them. Like, that could be a fun gift for somebody. Sheet masks are easy. You know, you just sit with them on, you take them off, you throw it in the nearest trash can, and you just rub in the excess. You rub in that nice serum. It just looks really good to me. I have a feeling that's a can't-miss type item. Now we're officially getting into things that I am highly interested in, but I'm on the fence about actually going for. I really, really would like your comments on these as to what you're most interested in seeing me try because that could turn the tide on some of these. But one of them that I know I've been asked about before and I'm really thinking about getting is the Marc Jacobs Remarkable Full Cover Foundation Concentrate. And I've heard some great things about this product and I'd kind of love to try it for myself. I'm very intrigued when the consistency of the product is thin and really light but yet still has coverage to it. That just I'm very compelled. It's a $55 foundation. Is it worth it? I'm kind of dying to know. This revolutionary formula offers twice as much pigment as leading full coverage foundation, but in an oil-free base that blends instantly across the complexion to cover pores, blemishes. Gosh, this is the longest sentence ever. Another foundation that I'm very interested in is the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation Stick. This is $43. It says a long-lasting multitasking cover stick with invisible coverage for foundation touch-ups and contouring. And this line in the claims really intrigued me. Developed specifically for the film and TV industry's most advanced technology, it is completely invisible under the latest super-focused 4K lens. Hmm. It's one of those things where I think, do I need that in my everyday life or do I just really want to see how good it is, you know? And then, um, First Aid Beauty. I had mentioned having kind of a, a rough start with some First Aid Beauty products in my other video. The little duo was called Fab Delights, and it was the uh, First Aid Beauty cream, like their Ultra Repair Cream, the thing they're kind of known for. And then there was a lip product in there as well. There were things about each of those that I couldn't really get on board with. With the Ultra Repair Cream, it was the scent. It was a vanilla citron scent that I could not... Uh, really wrap my head around. So I found another set that's $48 and it's got a lot of things to sample including an ultra repair cream that just seems to be the standard like no additional weird scent. There's a cleanser in it. There's a lip balm in it, like in a little tub. There's a serum and the facial radiance pads, which I have tried and really like the facial radiance pads. So I feel like that could be a pretty safe option if I want to go for that. Final thing I'm going to mention here, and this is the thing I am most on the fence about getting, but it still really interests me. So I wanted to tell you guys about it. And if you've got it, you can let me know. But it's the Bobby to Glow Shimmer Brick Palette by Bobbi Brown. Am I a sucker for palettes or what? I only own one shimmer brick. It's in the shade Nectar and I really, really like it. Um, it seems to be the kind of thing that can highlight on me, but it's also just beautiful. Like, it's a little glaze right over the top of your blush. You know, it looks really pretty that way. Here it says you're getting shimmer brick in gold, wild rose, and bronze all together in one, and those are said to be best-selling shades in her line. The thing about shimmer bricks that intrigues me is that there's multiple colors that are accessible in each one. By that, I mean I could stick a brush in different strips and use them as eyeshadows. There's kind of a multi-purpose function to them. You can go toward the lighter side and get more of a highlight out of it. Certain ones are going to be more like a blush. And to me, this palette at a glance almost looks like it's highlight with the gold, bronzer with the bronze, and like a blush type tone with um, the pinky shade that's in there. So I don't know. $69 is not insignificant at all, but I'm very intrigued and it looks so pretty. Stopping myself there. That's uh, the recommendations, the wish list. 
love your feedback if you've got any for me. But this was so fun and I realized like giving you a wish list is definitely not the most informative video, you know, that I can put out for you because I'm speculating on stuff. I'm just kind of chatting off the cuff about some things that interest me personally. But at the same time, it was really fun for me and I really liked the other video that I came across that did this too. And I did give you some recommendations, some solid stuff that you can uh, come away from this video with. So thank you for watching. I appreciate your time and I will see you next time. Bye!